It says Deke. How do you feel about Big Ben's interview? Oh, it does say Deke. It, it does. I, I saw the same thing because I got the pop up yeah, chat up yeah, right it, now. It's too. direct. It's direct to you, baby. So how do you feel about it, man? I was thinking about you when that joint came out too. I mean, it was a masterpiece. It was artwork, honestly. Mm-hmm. It was everything we needed to hear. It was everything we wanted to hear. I don't know where we start because there's so many amazing quotes. Yeah, I, I got, it was I got Brooke Pryor's yeah. Twitter up right now, and she mm-hmm. just has like a good timeline of like 10 yeah. or 11 things that came from the interview. Uh, one of the things that sticks out is when he was talking about, is this going to be like his last season mm-hmm. or not? It was just so polished. Perfect with his response. I treat every season like it's my last season. <laughs> yeah. Any game like it's my last game. I'm just locked into this season. That's that's what it really needs to be. I, I know we're talking back and forth. A lot of people are talking back and forth of, oh, man, how long should Ben be playing and whatnot. Mm-hmm. I want the two, three, four years, whatever it is. Some people have differing opinions on that. But at the end of the day, it just comes down to this season. He's got one year left on this contract. You come in, you ball out. Everything else will take care of itself. Whether he wants to keep playing, but if he does ball out, then I don't see why he wouldn't want to come back. He's healthy. The Steelers wouldn't want him back at, at some type of price, which mm-hmm. he mentioned also in this interview, too, that it, it was his idea to take the pay cut. He wanted to come back immediately after that AFC wildcard mm-hmm. game, told the Steelers, I want to be back. If you want me back, let's make this work. So the the interview was amazing. I, I don't know what else there is to say about it. I mean, he was talking highly of Najee Harris, the offense. He kind of made a funny joke, too, about, oh, this the offense is going to be – so out there no one's ever seen this office before we're gonna be so unpredictable so it was kind of a joke there but then he also made the comment like canada's bringing some nice wrinkles i'm excited to get to work with this thing there's gonna be some new things we learn but it's it's for the betterment of the team we're just gonna kind of go forward with it so yeah i thought it was an awesome interview man because we haven't heard from ben in a while since since the game yeah, he, I guess he spoke so. After the game, we, I mean, we it. heard the statement from his agent and a yeah. little bit of the back and forth between like yeah, Steelers time, organization, Colbert, yeah, and last Ben's time camp, he spoke but, was after the game, man. Yeah, so that was crazy, man. But for me, it's all season interview. So he did what he's supposed to do. It he, was, he got got the people going, man. Didn't say anything it was crazy. Like obviously, we can comb through if we really wanted to pick through bits and pieces. Done that as well. Honestly, though, man, it's an off season interview, bro. So, like, I like the mentality. I like the upbeatness because he definitely had, like, that joking, funny thing going on with him during the interview, which was cool, man. It's always good to see that side of him. But as a whole, man, yeah, it's OTAs. So, glad you're here. Glad he spoke. But, yeah, let's get to let's get to the real thing, man. Let's get to the real thing when the season gets here. But from what I'm, everything I'm hearing from the, the people that have been down there in terms of, like, the reporters that are watching him, saying he looks good, saying Haji looks really good. So we hopefully we keep that thing rolling, baby. Yeah. Says yeah. his arm's feeling good, mm-hmm. too. Now, I did want to ask you something about okay. that. So he talked about his arm feeling better, and he said something along the lines of now that he's is going to feel better now that he's further removed from the surgery or whatever. But I thought all of last year, everyone, including him, you, everyone, would say this is the best his arm has ever felt, as strong as it's ever felt. So is it not that good anymore? No, I think it, and now I, it's back to normal. Ben? No, no, like, no. That's no. what I was confused on, man. I figured you're the expert on that, though. Sure. Yeah, yeah I think his arm felt good. Mm-hmm. I think it was maybe that touch element that mm-hmm. that was missing. You know, he didn't mm-hmm. have the off season to come back from that surgery and and really work on the arm like he would in a normal off season. Mm-hmm. At least even with the communication with the players and whatnot. But yeah. I saw many times throughout the season, he was overthrowing receivers. Right. That's what I thought. I didn't think it was like so a... So that's what I mean. I think the arm's arm still there. It was just maybe right the, just the touch, the repetition. Okay. He didn't have, you know, he had that full off season or not full off season, but the yeah. full season in 2019 where he had that reconstructive surgery. Yeah. And he comes back. The off season's not the same. So he's, man, how, yeah, what is that? Is, would you consider that a two years removed? A year and a half. I don't know what it is, but it's a while. It was one season. It was one season. Then he came back the next year. It's a while. But then to come back, and because we, I still saw the arm strength in the Colts game and the Browns game. So those were like the last two games of the season that he played. He threw for over 500 yards. Granted, made some mistakes, didn't play his best. But that's my point. I still think he's got the arm strength. He's got all that. And I think being even more removed from that surgery and now being in this offseason where it's going to be pretty much back to normal, he's only going to be better. So that's what I'm thinking with okay. it. Yeah, yeah. Because that was the only part that I was just like, ah, I 
thought that, but all right, if it's not that, then we're good. So you clear that up for me, man. So yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. I, I'm Cause you, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Because last year that was the big thing. Even during uh, training camp last year, those are the reports. Man, his arm has never looked this strong before. It's the best it's ever looked. We've never seen this much zip on it. All these other things, and then to hear him a year later saying, "We, well, yeah, I feel like my arm is good now. I feel like you know, a year removed, like I'm back." I'm like, well. What was all that last year from everybody? What were y'all fabricating? Was y'all blowing smoke on me, man? Like I don't don't deceive me. No, no, I don't want I, to be deceived. I think it was good. I think it okay. was feeling good. If anything, this is the thing that may have been swept under the rug is that p- potential like knee or knee surgery. That's what I'm. Looking, That's what I mean. Yeah, so That's what I don't I keep know. Checking out, man, because we felt was that Dallas. Yeah, Dallas is when the knee started to pop up. Yeah. So that's the one I'm. I want to see more of. Like, is yeah, that I part still good? felt the arm, I think arm wise is good. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, I'm trying to look, I'm just scrolling through this yeah. just to remind myself what else he <laughs> he played. Juju and Pig. Yeah. Uh, Juju came over. They played some hoops. Let's see. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I have much else. He said he's Steeler through and through. He's not mm-hmm. going to go anywhere else. Yeah, he said another great place he thing. wanted to go. I did laugh at. He said he decided it. It was his idea for the pay cut. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. What, dude, hey. That was his idea, he's, huh? He's about to take That was his idea, huh? <laughs> Listen, he said it, so why not? Why not Why not take him for his word? All right. <laughs> either way, either way, he took the pay cut. So, you know he what I mean? Did, he did. He either way. Did. No, shout him out for that, man. It was just funny. It was like, bro, I thought Mr. Rooney and Kevin Cope were the big ones pushing that part of it. But all right, cool. Hey, that's all up. <laughs> yeah, it all worked out. I think it was a nice back and forth between the two. I think they understood yeah. what needed to happen. Yeah. And whether whoever's idea it was, Ben saying it was his. He just took the credit. He's an innovator, dude. He's an innovator. That's why I We take got this group him. project, but yo, I did this joint. That was all me. Yeah. Um, what? Hey, what else, else you got? We have the comments? Yeah, I'm just trying to scroll yo. through. We have the Haskins comment. I don't know if we want to touch on that now or we'll later. Yeah, we'll get on that a little later. Um, yeah. Let's see. Because that was interesting as well, because people made a big deal about him speaking about Dwayne versus we really haven't heard him speak about other quarterbacks like that before. That is true. Yeah, we've ne- he has never said anything like that about Mason. He's never spoken on Dobbs like that either. Paxton Lynch, Landry, uh, Bruce. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Yeah. Vic. Yeah, Mason yeah. would have been the one probably most mm-hmm. comparable to Haskins in terms of situation yeah. coming in. And yeah, we didn't really hear that about mason yeah now the last one i guess this is the last thing i probably want to touch on being motivated by doubters you let it motivate you but you don't let it drive you crazy at the end of the day you're trying to win a football game a championship yeah. he had some other type of comment like yeah. a lot of people are doubting us now they're overlooking us mm-hmm. and he said he, he likes like, it right he was like this yeah. is where we like to be so mm-hmm. yeah the interview was just yeah. phenomenal i i did have one other part where i was a little sad though because he had a chance for big Deke energy, and I do feel like he wants small happened? Deke energy here. <laughs> so I forgot which one of the media guys asked him this, but they were like, hey, don't you, uh, isn't one of the goals like to come back and win multiple Super Bowls? And he said something like, we're just trying to get one right now, or something like, we're just trying, we're focusing on just one at a time or one versus the big Deke energy would be like, yes, mm-hmm. I'm back for more. I'm trying to get more because every time they would ask him questions about his future if this is it or if it's going to be more, he was very vague from those answers. You saw what he said. Oh, man, I'm going to treat every year like it's my last year. I treat every year like this. I prepare the same every time, but really wasn't committing to whether or not he does think he would come back or not. But it's smart on his part. Yeah, That's smart. the media part. But as a whole, that was the part. I was like, man, big deacon. energy supposed to be like, man, I'm here for the next five years. I'm winning four rings and I'm getting three MVPs off of my man Deke. Like, that's what I was waiting for. So when he never gave that, I was a little disappointed. I, I, I left a little deflated. I'm not going to lie to you. I think that was in his mind. I okay, think you're right. Okay. He was just being sad. So like, how it. could he not think about my man Eric DeClavin? Like, it's only one Deke. And shout out to the jersey, by the way. This is fire. Ah, thanks, man. Thanks. Jeez. Had to break it out. Yes, indeed. But either, either way, either way, man. It's like, bro, shut my man Deke out. Seven? Come on, bro. <laughs> this is crazy. He's just going to forget about you like that, man. Hey, listen, interview was good though, man. It was I, I was really pumped about it. Whenever I saw these quotes popping up all over my social media, I was like, oh damn, this is yeah. this is great. I gotta check this thing out. Yeah. And uh yeah, the quotes lived up to the hype. Interview was solid. I thought he answered everything pretty good. I like it. So we'll go check and see what the people are saying in uh, response uh, yeah. to that, man. I, you know what I mean? I'm sure some people but, but are saying But first of all, stuff. shout out to B Lo man. We appreciate that love. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, all right. 
Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Dude, these we, we're actually it's a ton scrolling. of wake and bakes right now, bro. Exactly. It's a ton of wake and bakes. Shout out to Jennifer over in Sheboygan, <laughs> Wisconsin. Oh, excuse me. I'm <laughs> just waking up over here, man. Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Jeez. All right. Shout out to you. I went out far as that from Green Bay. I have no clue. I mean, when we pull up in Green Bay, you might have to pull up on us, man. Straight yeah, up. Yeah, I have no Tell clue. Tailgate City. You know how we do. You got A. Farrell from DC teleworking from bed. Shout out. See? All right. Bad issues in Wiley, Texas. I haven't got to the Ben stuff yet. It's a lot of love in here. There's a lot of comments in here, bro. I know. Just people uh, complimenting here we go. us. All right. So it looks like Kenneth. Kenneth says, Big Ben loves being the underdog. I could definitely agree with that right there. All right. All right. <laughs> Color <laughs> it's, it's, over first topic. Get it, baby. <laughs> hey, that, that, that color. The color pop up in the chat. Yeah. yeah color takes priority. <laughs> We come with our topics on our own time. You know what I'm saying? We can talk about ours on our own time. Y'all pay. Hey, man. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> it's a different level of respect. Different level of appreciation. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not going to lie to you. 